Welcome back to Mental Math. Today we have a fascinating infinite series. It looks complex, but we're going to reveal its surprisingly simple and elegant form. Our problem is to find the value of the sum from n equals zero to infinity of the quantity n plus one times x to the power of n. The secret to solving this lies in a fundamental tool from calculus. The Geometric Series The Geometric Series is a cornerstone of infinite series. It states that, for any value of x with an absolute value less than 1, the sum of x to the n from n equals 0 to infinity converges to the simple fraction 1 over the quantity 1 minus x. This identity is our starting point. The structure of our problem is hidden inside it. Now, here's the crucial insight. What if we take the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to x? This will change the coefficients in a very useful way. We apply the derivative operator to both the left and right sides of the equation. First, let's focus on the left-hand side. To make the differentiation clear, let's write out the first few terms of the series. We start with the derivative of the summation with respect to x. Let's expand the sum to see what we're working with. For n equals 0, we have 1. For n equals 1, we have x. For n equals 2, we have x squared, and so on. For a convergent power series, we can differentiate term by term. Let's apply the power rule to each term. The derivative of the constant one is zero. The derivative of x is one. The derivative of x squared is two x, and so on. Now, we can express this new series back in summation notation. Notice the pattern. The kth term is k times x to the power of k minus one. This gives us the sum of n times x to the power of n minus one. Crucially, because the first term was 0, the sum now starts from n equals 1. Next, let's handle the right-hand side. This is a standard function derivative. We need to find the derivative of 1 over the quantity 1 minus x. To make this easier for the power rule, let's rewrite the fraction using a negative exponent. This is equivalent to the derivative of the quantity 1 minus x to the power of negative 1. Now we apply the chain rule. We'll differentiate the outer function and multiply by the derivative of the inner function, 1 minus x. We bring down the negative 1 exponent, reduce the exponent to negative 2, and multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 1 minus x is simply negative 1. Substituting this in gives us two negative 1 factors. These two negative 1 terms multiply to positive 1. This simplifies the expression. Finally, we can write this back in fractional form. And we get 1 over the quantity 1 minus x squared. Now we equate our results from the left and right sides to find the answer. So we have discovered a new identity. The sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n times x to the n minus 1 equals 1 over the quantity 1 minus x squared. This resulting series is incredibly close to our original problem. We just need to adjust the index of summation to make them match perfectly. Let's perform a substitution. We'll define a new index, k, as n minus 1. This means that n is equal to k plus 1. We also need to change the starting index. When n is 1, k is 0. Let's substitute each part. n will become k plus 1, n minus 1 will become k, and the starting index n equals 1 becomes k equals 0. After substituting, we get the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of the quantity k plus 1 times x to the power k. The structure is now identical to our original problem. 
Since k is just a dummy variable for the summation, we can rename it back to n without changing the value of the sum. And so, we have our final answer. The infinite sum simplifies to this compact and beautiful expression. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this elegant solution, please like and subscribe for more mathematical insights.